guys, what's up? It is Saturday, and I don't think I've uploaded in a couple days. So I do want to give you guys an update on Digger. Digger's eye is looking really good. Hey, can you bring it a little bit closer? No. So you just give up? You're just going to take a nap? Are you going to sleep? All right, then. I'm leaving. I'm getting up. I'm not going to sit here no more. Greg has been putting drops on his eye, and then we go back on, I think, Thursday um, to get all his, like, yearly stuff done, and then they're going to do a um, follow-up checkup on him just to make sure that everything's okay. And this week, Greg has been downstairs messing with the Jeep a whole lot. So I'm going to say that I'm pretty amazed that Greg is, like, working on this Jeep so hard. <laughs> Core, like, I'm shocked. But... He's been cleaning it up and he's thinking that he wants to put like black rim around here and then maybe like black around that too just because I don't know this Jeep is kind of like a bumblebee a little bit I mean yellow black hello it's not a chrome queen it's not a chrome queen that's right and I'm really impressed because he got a lot of the rust normal rust there was rust on the um, door handle on his side and then also well on the driver's side and then also um the back tailgate i want to show you guys he spent all this time so he's got all this back here was kind of like rusted and greg kind of like made it where it matches with everything else this tire is so heavy Ugh. So he did a really good job with the, the back. And then this here was rusted and he took care of that. And this right here wouldn't open. Well, the, the lid was off. So Greg figured out how to kind of rig this up and he fixed this. Behind him, little bolt pads. Yeah. See the clear back in there? Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna come out. So he's kind of like been on it today. He's trying to make everything right. Owning a Jeep is a lot of work, ain't it, babe? This one is so far. <laughs> but you love it. Had some rust, so he took care of that. He um, also, the, the, the headlight was kind of like blinking in and out and stuff so he decided to pull that out and try to take a look at what was going on and we found out that the thing was like corroded okay so greg had to replace the um lights and when he did he pulled these out and they were corroded so he had to go to um one broke of those they he had to, well they broke off Three wires were broke off out of, out of the six, three of them broke off. No, the other stuff is corroded. They corroded too. They were corroded onto the well, that's bolt. That's what they said. They couldn't get it off. Yeah, but these were broke off. So they're not even in there. Oh, that, okay. Those were gone. See, these are broke off and then this is like corroded here. So he went to um, one of those like automobile junkyard places so he could find what he needed and he got that so he's taking care of that and he's going to get it inspected tomorrow so we'll find out how bad things are at that point it's really it's from where and it's the way that Jeep made stuff so Greg went to um, a local place around here that has like old car parts you can go it's like a junkyard you can go and get things so he took that he took care of that that's good he also had to get because the tires are so big, the back tire is uber big, so there's no third um, brake light. So he went and bought a brake light um, to put on the back. That was a little bit of an issue because they said it would fit fine, but it didn't. So he had to like drill holes into it to try to make it fit and work. <laughs> that's cool. But he did. He got it to work, so that's good. And oh, that's good. Those peppers and onions. Greg's cutting up from the garden. Greg's been busy. 
And then, um, what else? Oh, he also fixed, this wasn't like dire important for um, him to get the Jeep inspected, but he fixed the fan in the um, Jeep. I keep saying um. <laughs> so he got a piece from Amazon and he had to like fiddle around with the back and he got that and he fixed that up. So now, so the air conditioning worked, but you had to have it like on click four in order for it to work and in my jeep it's the same thing it's like click three so it's like the third level then you can really feel the air conditioning before that like it's useless so greg figured out how to fix it on his jeep so now he can fix it on my jeep so hopefully we're gonna do that tomorrow maybe i don't know and what else oh he took the jeep to get inspected yesterday it did not pass inspection but we were kind of expecting that so we need to change the tires because the tires stick out a little bit too far, like an inch too far or something, or an inch to three inches too far. So he's gonna go take care of that. And then what else did he, does he need to do? Oh, the tint on the windows has to go, so we've gotta take the tint off. And I think something with the muffler, the back brakes need to be fixed, and I think something else like minor. So all in all, we're probably gonna end up putting like another maybe $400, $500 in it just to get it inspected and on the road. And then the fun comes because then Greg's gonna have to buy all kinds of new stuff for the Jeep because, I mean, you have to, right? So Greg and I are gonna probably start her own, like his and her Jeep funds. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> so that's what's going on with that. Today, Greg and I went to Pennsylvania and we were driving through a shopping center that we, I normally go to anyway because there's an Ulta there, but we don't really look. And we looked today and the liquor store is really cool. They have a lot of different wines that I've never tried before, so we picked that up. It looks interesting. And this is a pretty bottle. Hey babe, look. Rebel Red and Tears of Gettysburg. Well, that's cool. Oh, that does look, that does look like Mrs. Buttersworth. Hmm. Wait, I found it. Wait, I found it. How do you not buy that? Plunger head? <laughs> He's got a plunger on his head. That is so funny. See, I'm seeing rosé everywhere now. We've got the Naked Grape. Smoking Loon and Middle Sister. I just rescued some wine. It was trapped in a bottle. <laughs> that is my life. And look, they even carry one of mine and Greg's favorites. This is like a must have. Yeah, so we've got jam jar. Look at this. Moscato and strawberries. Moscato and peach. Moscato and mango. Yeah, it's probably a no. What else do we have? Oh, this looks good too. Sweet Bliss. Sweet white wine. Here's another rose. I wonder why I'm seeing this so much right now. We should get this. We should get this. It's cabin fever because I'm tired of being trapped in the house with you. So, let's get it. Red cat. Red cat. What is that? I saw the sign for it. Chocolate lab. Oh God! Mad Dog 2020. Yes, I got a one of them. I've never you had ever that. Seen one? Uh -huh. You gotta get one. Wild but Irish Rose. Smell? Oh my God! No. Oh. No. 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 The smell is like I, uh, negative. True class. True class, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got this red raspberry moscato, and we have. A cherry Moscato because y'all know we love our Moscato and as we were leaving <laughs> the woman that checked us out I looked at Greg and I'm like oh my god that's so cute I'm like is that fruit punch because it says hunch punch right so I figured it's like a fruit punch moonshine obviously obvi the woman said no, sweetheart, that's moonshine. I'm like, I know it's moonshine. I'm talking about the flavor. Is it fruit punch? I'm like, do you, does she think I'm five years old? Like, I don't know. 
So we had all that. And then I went and got my nails done today. Oh, don't I look so pretty. Greg's cutting up all the veggies and I'm gonna be working on editing because I have some videos that I have shot that I need to edit and get uploaded to the main channel. And then I have this that I need to upload. And I have been, this is what I've been doing for this month. I'm saving all of my unedited raw film. I'm saving all of that on, a, um, on an external hard drive. And then I'm also saving, and I'm going back a little ways, but I'm also trying to download my old videos and put those on a hard drive as well. I don't have the raw footage for that stuff. I didn't start keeping my raw footage until this month. Um, just because I like to be able to look back and see things. And honestly, me of all people, like I know that you cannot trust the internet or YouTube or Facebook or anything like that. You can't trust technology to hold on to your memories. Which is kind of weird that I'm putting it on a hard drive because I really don't trust that either. But, you know, it's like an extra backup. So, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, um, bye.